As you can probably tell, I've already started doing the bending for this week. So I did end up changing it into round bar, like you guys suggested. Um, I knew round bar was an option. The reason why I chose tube first is because I'm going to have the tail light up in the sissy bar and I want it to be able to hide the electrics, but I guess that is just what it is. I'm just going to have to kind of like keep it up along the bar. What I've done so far is I've done again with the torch and this time just using the vise to make some bends. So this bit here is, ooh, if you remember this being kind of part of the prototype or like the example I guess. Um, so that bit is that bit there. I've still got to come around and do this curve along the fender, if you will imagine it kind of sits in there. It's kind of this aspect of the strut slash sissy bar I'm struggling with. Um, I'll show you what I did attempt originally. That's what it looks like. And it sucks basically. I can't make that complicated bend and with two such tight kind of shapes right next to each other um, with what I've got. This doesn't really get hot enough and um, I'm not strong enough to really bend this. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to work down like this way through it and at the end probably that side I'll probably have to kind of cut and weld a little bit because I don't just don't see how I'm going to be able to do it. Although this, you know, I've got this type bend in pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. So what I've done is, or what I'm about to do, is I'm going to make this into a kind of jig where I pin this to here and then slowly bend that down along it and that should get the right shape. And also because I'm doing this twice, I'm doing this on each side of the wheel, I should be able to keep it kind of like consistent between both of them. You know, like I'm not very good at replicating things because like my battery covers, they're completely different. So I don't want that to happen with this one because it's actually got to kind of fit around that mudguard. So maybe I can try again with that because I feel like that one Maybe it just like didn't get it hot enough or the technique was different. Obviously this right angle bend is much better than that right angle bend. So I think I kind of just, maybe just need to do it again. Uh, yeah, so let's get that one out. I'm not going to show you guys me cutting that out. That's boring as shit. So I'll do that in a second. Uh, we'll cut back to when I've got that done. Yes. Yes. And for those of you who are concerned, I'm going to put like a rear seat on this and I'm going to carry people. Oh, that's my pizza. I am not carrying people on the back of my bike. Not when I've built it. I don't. Luggage, yes, luggage will go on the back, but people, no, I'm not putting people on my shoddy metalwork. <laughs> so don't worry about that. You don't need to... You don't need to be concerned about the lives of the people who might or might not go on my bag. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get my pizza and then come back and finish this one up. I ended up getting my dad to come out here to help me kind of do the physical bending. I think we gave it a real good go. So... This is kind of how it ended up being. Obviously that's not, that's not a great bend. Uh, we did try it on the jig we kind of made here. Um, didn't have enough leverage to really bend it all the way over. We also chopped off the end where I kind of messed up to add an extra pipe to it to add more leverage to bend it but it still wasn't really biting but I think I mean I don't know for sure but I reckon 
we're on to a good start. I think if I start off next time with the curve, I'll just see if I can explain to you from above what I'm talking about. So yeah, I reckon if we start off with the curve and have the whole bar straight at first, for example this, put it all the way up to the edge, pin it in there, have probably maybe even a bigger bar than this, probably make this a bit lower as well, so there's enough room for the sissy bar. I mean that's actually kind of like, that isn't a bad length for a sissy bar I don't think, so maybe that's fine. Put all that in there, and then when I can turn it around, I don't know if you can see that still, I have a bit more long length on the bar here so there's more leverage to pull it round. I reckon we could get that curve in nicely. I don't I just don't think there was enough length to the bar originally. I think you need to start with that middle curve and then do the harsh points afterwards. Then when that's done, clamp this in and then use a lot of heat and the vice to do the very sharp kind of points there. I reckon I might be able to do that side. Possibly not this side because obviously that was where it came from. I reckon there's not going to be enough leverage to bend that at a right angle like there would be, like there was here. That's just, you know, that's my uneducated guess. So, I need to go back to the shop, probably, and, um, get some more bar. Um, could always try with the one I've got over there. So yeah, I could try with this piece. Um, I guess it doesn't hurt to try, I mean, it's, I've brought it so I might as well use it but you know I think for you know first time experiment I don't think that's too bad I think you know this aspect so the, the the part of the bar that connects to the bike it may just need to be welded I think we got further today than we did last week you know and I will come back later on this week, I think, try and do the same with this bit. Yep, yep, I think that's a good idea. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. So we'll call it day today, and I will be back tomorrow, or possibly Friday, to give it another shot, I think, yes. So we're going to be uh, kind of, oh god, this is a new day, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be rushing through this a little bit because I've uh, got plans today and I woke up late, so I'm going to zoom zoom zoom. Um, so I've literally, what I've done now, made I've made the jig like this, so what I'll do is I'll slot the metal in between there and then it'll bend around that bit and that bit there is just to keep it in place um, so yeah a little another little makeshift jig see how well that works just need to kind of heat up the metal and then have a go basically as I said that's kind of what we made last time um, from kind of, oh, it was kind of put in this way and we just didn't have enough leverage this way to really make it right so yeah we're gonna pop that one in heat it up see if that one works any better like all I've done really is um put a nail in there and I'm sweltering already it's because it's in here it's like a greenhouse because of top plastic 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I feel myself sweating all over. Um, I don't know where my heatproof gloves are. Where are my hot gloves? Oh, there they are. Right. Okay, let's get this going. Let's get this on. Where's the flame torch? So I think what I'm going to do is kind of like go section by section. Um, try and heat up as much of it as I can and then move on to the next bit because, oh my gosh, because I don't think this torch gets that metal hot enough to be able to kind of go through, like heat up the whole bit and bend it all in one. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I also have something else I want to show you guys. The tanks come back with the tap bin move. Thank you, Monty. Uh, so I wanted to go show you guys how that now sits on the frame and how it fits in there. But um, you know, I'll try and do that if I've got the time. I also need to go pick up a package today. That package is either going to be my like packaging for the t-shirts that I'm sending out, or it's going to be my handlebars. So, or it's a mystery package. Uh, but I don't know what it is, so, but I think it's one of those two things, so that's exciting. I'm going to be editing my videos over the weekend. Uh, usually I work on weekends, but I've got my jab, uh, my second this weekend, and I usually get really ill when I have jabs, so I've taken the weekend off, so I'll just be bed bound and I'll just be editing this video basically, so that's why I want to get this done today, that's why I'm rushing, because that's what I won't get it done this week. Cool, now we're gonna just ah, slide that in there and just kind of pull back. Let it go. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's going. So you can kind of see that that's where the metal got hot, um, but we're trying to bend this section here. Uh, it was a little bit too far over, I think. So yeah, let's uh, give it another go. It's just basically just keep doing this over and over again until the shape hopefully comes in. try and bend it 
right there. Better. Oh, that's better. Hell yeah. That is... That's coming. It's coming. All right, let's do the end bit then. This is going to be the hardest bit because it's the bit where I've got the least leverage on. But I think I've done a good job on that. I'll show you guys. You can see that's closer than it was now. So it's just this kind of end part where that heat kind of stops. Then I need to do... It's kind of getting there, so... Yes, happy bunny that I'm actually getting it right this time. see where all the curves and the flat bits are. I think I might need to vice this point because this point's struggling to properly bend where it's such a shallow curve on the jig. All right. Okay. Please stay still. Please stay in there. I think I did too much. guys I've um I don't know I just couldn't get the right angle in for some reason did the same things as I did on the other one but just ended up curving rather than pinching here um and because of that I've also taken out the curve that was in here as well so it doesn't fit on the mudguard any longer so I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board again unless I can fix this yeah I mean, partly successful. I got this bit down pretty well. Just need to kind of, yeah, figure it out. But, you know, so we're getting there. Kind of hoped I'd have a shape to show you guys onto the bike, but alas, it is what it is. So yeah, gonna leave it here. Um, don't really have the time to show you guys the tank right now. I'm already running pretty late. So we'll just leave it here in the midst of this chaos and I'll be back next week with this, with the tank, maybe the handlebars, I'm not sure. So yeah, next week will be pretty good, hopefully, and I might actually figure out how to do this. But I've gotten pretty far with it, I feel like I'm close, and I feel like that's just to say that just because you don't have all of the right tools and all the right knowledge doesn't mean you can't kind of graft it out eventually. Uh, I will prove to myself I can do this. But that will be for next week. So take it easy everyone, have a good weekend, and yeah, that, that's, that's all I've got. Ciao.